हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल एग्जाम्स आर ओवर एंड आई होप एवरीवन हैव गिवन देयर बेस्ट एंड नाउ यू आर इन रिलैक्सेशन मोड आई डोंट वांट टू डिस्टर्ब यू मच बट आई हैव अ सजेशन फॉर यू ऑल कि आफ्टर टू और थ्री डेज ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन यू शुड रिव्यू व्हाट यू हैव डन इन योर एग्जाम व्हाट आई थिंक दैट दिस पीरियड आफ्टर एग्जाम एंड बिफोर रिजल्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट यू शुड डू यू शुड रिव्यू व्हाट यू हैव डन make an analysis ki how much marks you are expected how much marks you will be able to get in each paper and then plan your strategies means if you think that you have not done well then you should not waste your this two month this two month means after exam and before result am i right or not yes i am right for that you should review what you have done i always say that success is not immediate but to become a successful person you should not waste your time and you should plan your future for that reason today i am coming out with the suggested answer of ca final fr paper i have already prepared a suggested answer i will give the soft copy of that suggested answer so that you can go through that and you can analyze what you have done and how much marks you are expecting out of that paper but before that i will make an analysis of entire fr paper and we'll discuss the suggested solution also so are you ready for that yes now let us start the analysis of entire fr paper for november 2022 exam correct already i have given a pdf after exam after fr paper ki what was the what was the analysis of fr paper means you all know Keep from which chapter question have came, correct? But let us do one second analysis, correct? So you can see this is the chapter wise analysis. Keep from which chapter for how many marks the question have came. But good news that out of 120 marks, 120 marks questions were from ICA study material. Only one question I will say in day as 41, which was not directly from ICA study material, but I will say similar question we have done. in class means similar question is there in icse study matter so i will say it was new question but i can say yes similar question was given in icse study material correct so it was a very lollipop question because of that reason i can say 100% questions were from icse study material correct all the questions were covered in my class means 120 marks questions were covered in my class also of course we do all the questions of icse study material so if all the questions were from icse study material the all questions were covered in the class also correct yes but the good news that normally you all know that before exam i will come out with the expected list of question and out of that expected list 76 marks questions were from that expected list correct 76 marks means out of 120 marks 76 marks questions were from my expected list now as per a b c category so from a category a category means there are five chapter consolidation business combination indias 115 indias 116 analysis of finances statement share based payment normally a mandatory questions will be asked from that chapter and out of that a category chapter you can see 71 marks questions were asked from a category it means more than 50% marks questions were from what a category paper then balance were from b and c category so question paper was easy ha huh, it was quite lengthy i will say it was quite lengthy but if you but if the questions were directly from ic study matter and if you have done all the questions of ic study matter so it become easy correct now so i will suggest that, i means from my point of view that the question paper might be lengthy but it was easy to you will be able to attempt 100 marks paper yes sir now let us start the discussion of solution can we start a discussion yes now let us come to the question paper question paper you can download from the icia website let us start with the question number 1 question number 1a was of chain holding consolidated finance statement same to same question is given in icia study matter they have only changed the number and the name of the company correct yes sir now given given below are the balance sheet of a group of company comprising x limited y limited j limited as on 31st march 2022 you can see they have given 
थ्री कंपनीज बैलेंस शीट नॉन करंट एसेट प्रॉपर्टी प्लान एंड इक्विपमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट दे हैव गिवन इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ एक्स लिमिटेड इन वाई लिमिटेड एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ वाई लिमिटेड इन जेन लिमिटेड फ्रॉम दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ चेन होल्डिंग करंट एसेट इन्वेंट्री फाइनेंशियल एसेट ट्रेड रिसीवेबल बिल्स रिसीवेबल कैश इन हैंड एंड बैंक इक्विटी शेयर मीन शेयर कैपिटल अदर इक्विटी रिजर्व रिटेन अर्निंग यस सर करंट लाइबिलिटी फाइनेंशियल लाइबिलिटी ट्रेड पेबल्स बिल्स पेबल एक्स लिमिटेड वाई लिमिटेड यू कैन सी बिल्स पेबल एक्स लिमिटेड वाई लिमिटेड टू टू फोर्टी फाइव एंड दिस टू बिल्स रिसीवेबल टू फिफ्टी टू इट इज ए कॉन्ट्रा आइटम आउट ऑफ टू फिफ्टी टू टू फोर्टी फाइव विल बी कैंसल एंड सेवन लैक्स विल रिमेन इन द बैलेंस शीट एंड दिस वन जीरो फाइव विल बी टोटली कैंसल तो दिस विल बी एलिमिनेटेड इन द कॉन्सोलिडेटेड बैलेंस शीट यस सर Let us come to the additional information. X Limited hold 80% shares in Y Limited and Y Limited hold 75% shares in Z Limited. Their holding were acquired on 30th September 2021. So of course there is a time adjustment of six month. Means the current year profit six month profit will be pre and six month profit will be post. The business activities of all the companies are not seasonal in nature and therefore it can be assumed that profit are earned evenly throughout the year. Even though this information is not given, we will always assume this only. Then they they have given on first. April two thousand one, they have given the reserve and retained earning position of Y Limited and Z Limited. This is required to find out the net asset on the date of acquisition. Rupees thirty five lakh included in the inventory figure of Y Limited is inventory which have been purchased from Z Limited at a cost of cost plus twenty five percent. You can see thirty five. So if it is what twenty five cost plus. 25 percent. So you need to find out the annualized profit. 25 by 125 means 1 by 5 means 7 lakh is annualized profit. So in the stock of Y Limited, there is a profit of Z Limited. Correct. So it is of course upstream transaction. It is a upstream transaction. Yes, sir. Correct. Got it. Then upstream transaction means Z Limited has sold to Y Limited. So in the stock of Y Limited is a profit of Z Limited. The parent company has adopted an accounting policy to measure NCI at fair value quoted market price applying in days 103. So we need to find out the fair value of NCI on the date of acquisition. Assume that market price of shares of Y Limited and Z Limited are the same as their respective face value, and the face value is given in the balance sheet that is rupees hundred. Yes, sir. Y Limited purchased goods from Z Limited after acquiring the shares of Z Limited. Even though this point is not given, we assume always this only. Correct. You are required to prepare consolidated balance sheet as on 31st March 2022 of group companies of X Limited, Y Limited, and Z Limited. So let us come to the solution. Let us. You can see I have already prepared the solution. The soft copy will be given in the description of this video. Means the link will be given in the description of this video. You can download from there. Let us discuss. So we will come to the balance sheet. You need to prepare what? First, you will do what analysis of reserve and surplus. Means in this, actually in this uh, suggested solution, I have given the solution as per ICI. However, in class we have discussed in this way. Let us come to the discussion. We will first prepare the date. We will first do what? Working note number one. I have already prepared working note. You can see we will first prepare working note number one. Sona of Jet Limited. So you can see date of acquisition, date of consolidation, correct post equity share capital write down, opening balance and closing balance will remain same. Then reserve and surplus, opening balance and closing balance. This will be seventy. This is seventy will be the profit of entire year. That is twelve month. On this will apply time adjustment. Then return earning, opening balance and closing balance has been given. So one zero five will be the profit of The entire year, so you can see post period is six month. We'll do time adjustment of six month. You can see time adjustment has been done on seventy and one zero five and thirty five and fifty two point five has been transferred from post to pre, so that we have done one analysis of reserve and surplus. You can see this become the fair value of net asset on the date of acquisition. The so fair value has not been given. So we'll assume book value of the net asset on the date of acquisition will be equal to the fair value of net asset on the date of acquisition. Similarly, we'll do Sona Y Limited. You can see date of acquisition, post date of consolidation. You can see equity share capital, reserve and surplus, same opening balance and closing balance has been written. Correct. This all information has been given. The question only retained earning, opening balance, and closing balance has been given. Then we'll find out the profit of the entire period. Same profit, seventy and one zero five lakhs has came. On this, we'll apply time adjustment for six month. So six month profit will be transferred from post to what pre. So you can see eighty seven point five has been transferred on the date of acquisition. This become net asset on the date of acquisition. Correct. Yes, sir.
then coming to goodwill or gain on bargain purchase will calculate goodwill or gain on bargain purchase so for y and z will calculate what goodwill or gain on bargain purchase the first we'll find out fair value of consideration paid this is the cost price of investment from the balance sheet this is the cost price of balance sheet but it will be 80 percent of investment so you can see 80 percent of investment investment is how much let us check investment is how much you can see investment is 980 correct let me check one second 980 is the investment to so 80 percent of 980 will be the fair value of what consideration paid so 80 percent of 980 will be what fair value of consideration paid then we'll find out fair value of ncr because the fair value is equal to face value therefore directly we have taken but before that we need to find out what how much nci in y and z so nci in y and z will be what for that so nci in y will be what 100 minus 80 100 minus 80 is equal to 20 correct and in z it will be 100 100 minus what minus because 75 percent investment has been done by y to z so 80 percent of 75 will take so we'll do 80 percent of 75 80 percent of 75 will come what 60 so this will be 60 so nci in z will be 40 correct 40 percent will be nci in z correct all this working would have been given in pdf i am just explaining the solution so you can see because fair value and face value are same so 1400 ka 20 percent we have taken and 1120 ka 40 percent we have taken this 1400 and 1120 is nothing but share capital is nothing but share capital correct so this become fair value of nci then we'll make a total of this then minus fair value of ina from working note number one and working note number two so this information we have taken from working note number one and working note number two this become gain on bargain purchase this become total gain on bargain purchase correct then we'll come to other equity reserve and retain earning to will first find first write down the balance of parent company means balance of x limited will be taken from the balance sheet then share of profit will take z and y correct z and y so this information we have taken from working note number one and working note number two correct so share of profit so for z it will be for z it will be what uh, 60 percent and for y it will be what 80 percent correct because 80 percent investment and you, i hope you have understood this point 60 percent and 80 percent why because nci was 40 percent the parent shares will be 60 percent so nci in y was what 20 percent the parent company share is 80 percent correct this information you get then this what one urp so of course we need to also eliminate the profit profit urp it was a urp of what urp of which company it was an urp of z limited included in the stock of y limited if urp means profit of z limited profit of z limited means what can i say it will be 60 and 40 so it, you can see urp already we calculated 7 parent share 60 which will be eliminated from retain earning so this become what reserve and retain earning understood yes sir correct then we'll come to nci nci will be very simple initial value already we have calculated initial value of nci then share in profit reserve will be allocated retain earning will be allocated then minus urp will do from z limited urp will be deducted then last will do what because 20 percent investment has not been considered at a time of what goodwill or gain or bargain purchase so that will be for that amount nci will be overvalued so we'll do nci share of investment z limited that is how much 20% of 980 20% of 980 will be deducted and this will be NCA value and after that if you prepare what balance it your balance it will match correct yes sir so solution is very easy I hope you have understood the solution yes sir you can also means you can also go through this solution this solution has been given in the format of what ICI I hope this will also help you correct balance it will very easy only you need to do plus 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 balance it will very easy you can see all the balance it has been also prepared in this correct let us come to the next question question number one b one b silver limited is in the process of acquiring shares of blue limited as a part of business uh, reorganization plan the projected free cash flow of brew limited for the next five years is as follow I mean this is a question of india's 113 you need to find out a fair value of shares correct you can see they have given cash flow 
टू एटी ईयर वन ईयर टू ईयर थ्री ईयर फोर ईयर फाइव टर्मिनल वैल्यू हैज बिन गिवन द वेटेड एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल तो ऑफकोर्स वी नीड टू यूज डिस्काउंटेड कैश फ्लो मैटेड डिस्काउंटेड कैश फ्लो मैटेड द टोटल डेट एस ऑन मेजरमेंट इज टू वन नाइन फाइव तो वंस यू कैलकुलेट डिस्काउंटेड कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम दैट डेट विल बी डिडक्टेड एंड सरप्लस कैश एंड कैश इक्विबलेंट द सरप्लस कैश एंड कैश इक्विबलेंट विल बी एडेड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स ऑन मेजरमेंट डेट इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट एट जीरो तो बिकॉज द फिगर्स आर गिवन इन करो तो यू विल डिवाइड द टोटल वैल्यू बाई नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स एंड यू विल गेट वैल्यू पर शेयर्स वेरी इजी डेट इज कम टू द सोल्यूशन डेट इज कम टू द सोल्यूशन यू कैन सी सोल्यूशन हैज बिन डन यू कैन सी डिटर्मिनेशन तो ईयर वन ईयर टू ईयर थ्री ईयर फोर ईयर फाइव कैश फ्लो From the questions I have incorporated, this is the information from the question. Terminal value is also given the question. Discount rate is also given 10 percent. So discount factor we have calculated. If you read the question, you can see at the end they have given present value should be taken at four decimal. So because it is given the question four decimal, now you have taken three decimal or you have taken entire decimal. For so that marks can be deducted because it has been given the question take four decimal now you can't take three decimal you can't take two decimal you can't take entire decimal so if you have taken entire decimal two decimal one decimal I say the right to deduct marks because it is given in the question so you should always respect the information given in the questions correct I hope you have read the question carefully and you have taken four decimal only you can see I have also taken four decimal free cash flow available you can see will multiply the cash flow with the discount factor. this will become the total of all years from this will deduct uh, that given the question and then we'll add cash and cash equivalent will add this will become total equity value from this will divide what number of shares and we'll get what value per share very easy question i think five marks question if you have done correctly you'll get five out of five chalega yes sir can we come to next question yes sir come to the next question question number 2a question number 2a Uh, what it is a question of what analysis of finances statement related to india's 115 very easy question on 1st april 2001 mohan limited has sold goods to hari limited at a consideration of 7 lakh 50000 the receipt of this receivable in three equal installment 2 lakh 50000 each over the two year period received on 1st april 2021 means the, at the beginning of the contract and then two installment at the end of first year and at the end of second year the company is offering a discount of 5% 37500 if the payment is made in full at a time of sale means if the payment is done at a time of sale then there is a discount of 37500 means can is the fair value or stand alone selling price will be 7 lakh 50000 minus 37500 it means the present value of all this future payment will be also what 7 lakh 50000 minus 37500 only will cross check that of course it will come 7 lakh 50000 minus 37500 the sale agreement reflect an implicit interest rate so they have given rate of interest discounting factor they have given means discounting rate they have given 5.38 Five eight percent. The total consideration to be received from such sale is seven lakh fifty thousand, and hence the management has recognized the revenue from the sale of goods seven lakh fifty thousand. This is not correct. Means this is a wrong treatment. So in this you need to just write down that this is a wrong treatment. What will be the correct treatment that you need to inform? You are required to analyze. Whenever they say analyze, so I have said in the class that whenever they say analysis, you should incorporate the. indias which indias required then what is the recognition criteria everything you need to inform correct whether the above accounting treatment made by the accountant is in compliance of indias of course it is not if not advise correct treatment also prepare journal entry and extract of what balance sheet and pl so extract also need to be given correct yes sir let us come to the solution can we come to the solution yes sir solution solution is very easy so you can see what we have done The above treatment need to be examined in the light of India's 115. Yes, because the it is a question of revenue recognition, so it means India's 115. In determining the transaction price, entity sell adjust the proposed amount of consideration for the effect of time value of money. If the timing of payment agreed to by the party to the contract provide the customer or entity with a significant benefit of financing, correct? So of course in this case it can, it is understood that there is a significant financing component. Therefore we should use what? But we should use the discounted method. Correct? Yes. So you can see we have the transaction price. We need to first calculate the transaction price, which will be equal to what? Which will be equal to present value of this all future payment. You can see present value factor has been calculated at the rate of discount given, and this become what the present value. 
and you can see the total is coming seven lakh twelve thousand five hundred. You can see seven lakh fifty thousand minus thirty seven thousand five hundred will be equal to seven lakh twelve thousand five hundred. Means whatever calculation we are doing that is correct only. So this become the revenue to be recognized. So what will be the correct treatment that we need to give? So correct treatment I have given in the form of journal entry. So first journal entry will be cash account debit to cash account debit to sale but entire amount is not receivable so cash receive is 2,50,000 revenue will be 7,12,500 and difference will be receivable difference will be receivable the next will be what we need to also recognize interest income on receivable correct now by applying the requirement of what in days 109 because amortized cost method we need to apply so you can see cash account how much we have received 2,50,000 interest income will be recognized on 4,62,500 interest income will be recognized at the rate given means 5 point 5 point whatever percentage has been given that interest has been calculated and the balance will be deducted from trade receivable the next interest will be re repeated and the interest will be balancing figure because of some approximation because of some approximation correct yes sir now you need to prepare the extract of PLM balance sheet to you can see in the year one in the year one your revenue will be seven lakh twelve thousand five hundred your interest income will be two twenty four thousand seven eighty one and year two your interest income will be twelve thousand seven one nine correct in balance sheet can I say at year one balance sheet you will have some trade receivable and year one balance sheet the trade receivable will be four lakh sixty two thousand five hundred minus what minus this is deducted also 2,25,219 will be deducted that will be trade receivable at year end 1 and at year end 2 the trade receivable will automatically become 0 this trade receivable because it is receivable within one year therefore it will be current item not non-current item correct yes sir you can see asset current asset financial asset trade receivable has been given that only that uh, that I hope you have understood how this has been calculated this has been calculated by deducting what 4 lakh this 4,62,500 minus 2,25,219 and trade receivable at year end 2 will become 0 and you can see this is what extract of SOPL so revenue will be 7,12,500 this was the wrong treatment they have done they have recognized 7,50,000 and other income you can see interest income will also come understood question was easy yes sir let us come to the next question yeah point number B this question I will say was was not expected from my point of view they will ask this type of question also in exam but similar question we have done in class correct i was not expecting that this question will come uh, yeah this question i will say this was not in my expected list what they have given a limited is in the business of infrastructure I mean, this is a question of service concession arrangement correct now nah? yes sir appendix of india's 15 last topic of india's 15 but same to same question was given in ics material that question also we have done in class Correct. Has two division. The brief details of its business and underlying project details are as follow. Project 1, Tudiana Chandigarh Expressway Toll Project. Yes. The company has commenced the construction of project in current year. The brief details of the concession agreement are given below. Total expense incurred were 100 crore as on 31st March 2022. Under IGA, the company has recorded such expenses as an intangible asset in the books of account. Total expenses estimated to be incurred on the project is 200 crore. Total expenses estimated to be incurred is 200 crore. Out of 200 crore, already how much incurred? 100 crore is already incurred. Fair value of construction is 220 crore. Total cash flow guaranteed by the government. Now, cash flow guaranteed by the government means we need to apply financial asset model, not intangible asset model. But under I give me as per previous accounting standard, they have already recognized an intangible asset that is not correct. It means here also we need to give the correct accounting treatment. So it, you can see the financial asset because the entire amount is guaranteed by the government. It is a receivable from the from the government correct to so 350 crore is the receivable finance revenue over the period to they have given also interest income key out of 350 what will be the interest income they have given 30 crore other income related to service provided during the operation phase so can you say under service concession arrangement there is some revenue for construction period there is some revenue for operation period so what we generate enter that we need to understand then project 2 Bangalore Ch Bangalore Chinne expressway toll project the company has also entered into another concession agreement with government of Karnataka in the current year the said concession agreement is toll based project and company need to collect the and the company need to collect from the user of expressway so can you see in this a government has granted a right to 
So as the user, it means it will give rise to an intangible asset. Means the accounting treatment will be as per intangible asset model. The construction cost for the said project is 150 crore, and the fair value of construction cost is approximately equal to 200 crore. So we need to recognize our revenue and also intangible asset with an with a value of 200 crore. Under IGA, the company has recorded the expense incurred on said project as an intangible asset. So they have recognized expense as an intangible asset. This is also wrong treatment. You are required to answer the following. What is the answer? What is the three part they have asked? What will be the classification of Ludhiana, Chandigarh, Expressway, Toll Project as per applicable index? So we need to the the classification will be financial asset model already we have discussed what with the classification of Bangalore Chennai this will be intangible asset model what should be the accounting entry for the preparation of financial statement as per relevant India's the relevant India's means appendix to India's correct yes sir so let us discuss the treatment you can see point number one what I have given here the operator has a contractual right to receive cash from grantor grantor means government the grantor has a little if any discretion to avoid payment usually because the agreement is enforceable by law the operation has an unconditional right to receive cash if the grantor contractually guaranteed to pay the operator hence the operator recognizes the financial asset to the extent it has a contractual right to receive cash even if for point number two here the operator has a contractual right to charge user from public services therefore you can see what is the answer therefore the operators are recognized an intangible asset to the extent it receives a right to charge user of public services accounting treatment yes sir the first accounting period during construction period can i say they will recognize the revenue to the interview financial asset account debit to revenue the financial asset account debit to revenue this will be with the with the fair value of construction construction fair value of construction whatever they have done it is given 220 is the fair value of construction you can see if we come to the question it is given what is given the fair value of construction service is 220 crore so that will be the revenue and also financial asset means this is the amount receivable from the government to financial asset account debit to revenue correct yes sir then what is the expenses means we are just doing the overall accounting treatment of the entire period means we are not doing accounting treatment yearly wise because they have not given that information so we are doing an overall accounting treatment of the entire period correct entire entire agreed period yes sir then construction cost is there to so construction cost they have said the total construction cost is 200 so that construction cost will be charged to peer to so cost of construction to bank or it can be payable also if not paid 200 200 correct we have assumed that it has been paid correct yes sir then we recognize uh we recognize what uh interest to financial asset account debit to finance revenue means interest revenue it is also given the question 30 then whatever balance means out of 350 was the total amount receivable from grantor out of that 220 is for the construction period and 30 is for the interest income the balance is for operation period means operation phase the so financial asset account debit to revenue for operation period so this will be 100 and entire amount will be received from the government correct during the period so amount received bank account debit to financial asset this is the entire jana entry for the first part let us come to the second part Bangalore Chennai Express so already I have said this is the intangible asset model so we need to recognize the intangible asset and revenue so in during construction you can see intangible asset account debit revenue with the fair value of construction that is given 200 crore correct yes sir and the cost of construction it is given what 150 crore to cost of construction which will be charged to PL during the construction period to bank you can see cost of construction will be charged to period during construction period correct and this 200 intangible asset will be amortized as per India's 38 to amortization cost during the during the period will be also charged once it become ready available for use so amortization expense to intangible asset this will be recognized during the operation period so amortization expense to intangible asset you can see correct and then whatever amount collected from the public means users of pub users of infrastructure that will be recognized revenue because that information has not been given that what amount has been collected from public whoever is using that infrastructure that amount is not given in the question therefore we have done one general entry bank account debit revenue during operation phase but that amount has not been given in the question understood yes sir correct simple this also you have understood let us come to the next point next question 
Correct. This question was not expected from my side, but similar question is given in ICS study. If you have done, you would have attempted it because question and solution is very simple. Let us come to point number C. An entity entered into a contract for sale product A10,000 as a part of the contract. The entity gives the customer a 40% discount voucher for any further purchase. This is the what option to purchase additional product option to purchase the additional product so whenever there is an option to purchase the additional product at a discount so that option to purchase will be a separate performance obligation correct up to 8000 in the next 30 days the entity intends to offer a 10 percent discount on all sale during the next 30 days as a part of seasonal promotion the 10 percent discount cannot be used in addition to 40 percent discount voucher means can i say 40% discount is inclusive of 10% means the material discount is 30% only correct yes sir which is available on on purchase of initial goods yes sir the entity believes that there is 75% likelihood that a customer will redeem the voucher and on an average the customer will purchase 5000 of additional product so 5000 is the average purchase correct and discount is what 30% discount is 30 percent and what is the life likelihood 75 percent so this become what this become what estimated standalone selling price of option correct so this becomes standalone selling price of option you are required to determine how many performance obligations so of course there are two performance obligations one is the initial sale and there is what option given to the customer means a right given to purchase additional product that, that option whatever has been given for that a revenue will recognize Correct, but that revenue will recognize when the options will be availed. Option will be availed or expired, whichever is earlier. Correct? Yes, sir. I hope the question you have understood. Let us come to similar question is in ICS study matter. Similar, same to same question. Correct? Come to the solution. You can see we have given that 10% discount on purchase during is available to all the customer. Therefore, 30% will be the material right is the incremental discount so 30 percent is the material discount correct so entity believe that 75 percent likelihood that customer will redeem so that information is given so you can see 5000 into 30 percent into 75 percent 1125 become the estimated standalone selling price of the discount voucher or you can say option so you can see standalone selling price of product a and discount voucher product a it is 10000 and this is 1125 and the total standalone selling price is 11125 so this 10,000 means transaction price was 10,000. This 10,000 will be allocated to these two performance obligations in this ratio. In this ratio, so you can see the transaction price is allocated. Allocated transaction price, the total transaction price 10,000, which has been allocated in this ratio. This will come 8989 and 1011. Correct. Yes, sir. This 8989 will be recognized immediately once the control of the goods has been transferred. We'll assume that product A, the uh, control has been transferred at a point of time, and the entire revenue means 8989 will be recognized out of 10,000. And the balance 1011 will be recognized once the once the discount will be availed or expired, whichever is earlier. You can see what they have given the entity allocate 8989 to product a and recognize revenue of product a when the control transferred so you can assume that control is transferred immediately at a point of time and we recognize entire revenue immediately but only to the extent of 8989 the entity allocate 101 to discount voucher and recognize revenue for the voucher when the customer redeem or when it expired so customer redeem the discount or when it expired whichever is earlier understood have you understood this point correct so Question number two entirely was related to India's 115. Let us come to the next part. Now, let us come to question number 3A. Correct. This question is related to India's 36. Similar question has been given in ICS study matter, only they have changed the number and the name of the company. Can we start? Yes, sir. So, Violet Limited is a beverage manufacturing company having various planets across India. There is a machinery A in Surat plant which is used for the purpose of bottling. There is one more machinery which is machinery B club with machinery A. Machinery A can individually have an output and also sold independently in the open market. Means machinery A can be one separate CGU. 
but machinery b cannot be sold in isolation without clubbing with machinery a and it cannot produce output as well means smallest group of acid which is capable of generating cash flow will be machinery a plus machinery b therefore in total it will become one cgu the company consider this group of acid as a cgu it is given also in the question and inventory amounting to rupees 1.65 lakh and goodwill amounting to rupees 1.5 lakh is included in such cgu means inventory and goodwill is also part of that cgu correct so whenever goodwill whenever goodwill is allocated to any cgu that that will impaired annually irrespective of indicator means if there is no indicator then also we should we should perform impairment testing correct yes sir machinery a was purchased on 1st april 2016 for rupees 12 lakh and residual value 60000 machinery b was purchased on 1st april 2018 for rupees 5 lakh with no residual value the useful life of both machinery a and machinery b is 10 year the company expect means this information has been given to find out carrying amount of machinery on the date of impairment the company expect following cash flow in the next 5 year for pertaining to machinery a so cash flow information has been given in machinery a because they are capable of generating output it means we can calculate their value in use the incremental borrowing cost of the company is 10% you can see they have given cash flow year 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 you can see year 5 it is 1 lakh excluding residual value means year 5 it will be 1 lakh plus 60000 so it might happen you have not taken this 60000 if you have not taken this 60000 it means you have done some mistake so residual value will be also added to find out value in use correct yes sir on 31st march 2021 the professional value means one thing is clear that 31st march 2021 is the date of impairment the professional valuer have estimated that current market value of machinery a is 8. 5 lakh so this has been given to find out fair value less cost to sale correct there is a there is a need to dismantle the machinery before delivering it to the buyer dismantling cost is 1.6 lakh a specialized packaging cost would be 30000 and legal fee would be 68000 to so to find out fair value less cost of disposal we should also deduct dismantling cost packaging cost and legal fees to find out the fair value less cost to sale on the date of impairment the inventory has been valued in accordance with indias 2 thank you very much the recoverable value of cgu is 10 lakh on 31st march 2021 the recoverable amount has been given in the next year the company has done the assessment of recoverability of cgu and found that value of cgu is 11 lakh you can see next year the recoverable amount has been increased from 10 lakh to 11 lakh it means it is a indicator of reversal of impairment loss so we should also perform testing for reversal yes sir that is on 31st march 2022 the recoverable value of machinery a is 5 lakh 50000 and combined machinery and machinery b is 8 lakh so you can see machinery a it is 5 lakh 50000 and combined recoverable amount of a and b is 8 lakh means machinery b you can work out it is 8 lakh uh, minus 5 lakh 50000 that is 2 lakh 50000 correct then you need to find out the impairment loss you need to calculate as on 31st march 2021 then you need to find out the carrying amount of the machinery or whatever in the next year means 2021 20 you need to also calculate depreciation for the next year then you need to also calculate a carrying amount cgu as on 31st march 2022 means reversal of impairment loss that also you need to perform one second they have given present value factor of one should be taken a four decimal one second it is mentioned in the question now if you have taken two decimal three decimal or entire decimal they may deduct marks i am saying may i don't know whether they will deduct or not but they have a right to deduct marks if you have taken two decimal three decimal or entire decimal because we need to respect the information given the question can we come to solution solution is very easy let us come to the solution yes sir so you can see first we will calculate impairment loss as on 31st march 2021 so first we need to find out carrying amount of machinery as on 31st march 2021 so machinery a it is very easy machinery a carrying amount we calculated machinery b carrying amount we have calculated it is very simple because machinery a was purchased on 1st april 2016 so 17 18 19 20 21 so five year has been expired we need to find out uh, five year depreciation so 12 lakh is the cost 60000 what the residual will be 12 lakh minus 60 divided by 10 into 5 you will do so it will be accumulated depreciation then you can calculate what the wdb as on 31st march 2021 similarly for machinery b they have not given any residual value it is 5 lakh divided by 10 50000 for one year it was purchased on 1st april 2018 to so 19 2021 to so 3 year depreciation you should calculate yearly depreciation will come 50000 so accumulated depreciation will 1 lakh 50000 5 lakh minus 1 lakh 50000 wdb will be 3 lakh 50000 
correct now you need to first find out what will be the maximum impairment loss of machinery a maximum impairment loss because you cannot allocate more than the maximum impairment loss of machinery so for that you need to first calculate value in use you can see value in use cash flow has been given you can see year 5 we have also taken residue value and 4 decimal factor has been taken for present value factor at a rate of 10 percent you can see we have calculated value in use a very simple calculation then we'll find out fair very less cost of disposal of machinery that is as per the information given in question 8 lakh 50 thousand minus 1 lakh 60 dismantling cost minus 30 thousand packaging cost 68 thousand uh, legal fees this will become what 5 lakh 92 thousand is what fair very less cost of disposal so what is the recoverable amount it is higher of value in use and fair very less cost of disposal so higher you can see 5 lakh 92 thousand yes sir it is 5 lakh 82 this is 5 lakh 92 so we will take higher one that become the recoverable amount so what is the carrying amount of machinery is 6 lakh 30 already calculated the recoverable amount 5 lakh 92 the maximum impairment loss will be 38,000 now we will find out the impairment loss of CG for that we need to make one table so CG you can see CG consists of machinery a carrying amount is 6 lakh 30,000 because we are calculating impairment loss as on 31st March 2021 so we will find out carrying amount as on 31st March 2021 so machinery A calculated machinery B we already calculated inventory it is given goodwill it is given it become 12 lakh 95 thousand and they have given and uh, what what was the they have given what uh, sorry they have given also what the recoverable amount how much given 10 lakh it is given let us check once yes you can see 10 lakh is the recoverable amount yes sir so 10 lakh is the recoverable amount to 12 lakh 90,000 minus 10 lakh 2 lakh 95,000 is what 2 lakh 95,000 is the total impairment loss so first it will be allocated goodwill so goodwill will be allocated to the extent of carrying amount 1 lakh 50,000 allocated to so 2 lakh 95 minus 1 lakh 50,000 so what is the balance impairment loss balance impairment loss will be 1 lakh 45,000 it should be allocated to machinery and machinery B because inventory will not be under the scope of India's 36 it will be impaired as per India's 22 it is given the question it is already valued as per India's 2 so we are not supposed to impair inventory once again so balance impairment loss will be allocated to A and B in the ratio of their carrying amount but the maximum impairment loss of machinery it is given 38,000 if you allocate impairment loss it is coming 93,124 but maximum impairment loss will be how much 38,000 so you cannot allocate more than that means 1,45,000 minus 38,000 will be allocated to machinery B you can see we have allocated 1,7,000 to machinery B then we will find out a carrying amount after impairment loss and the total carrying amount will be 10 lakh correct yes sir then we will find out the next point we need to calculate depreciation and carrying amount of the next year correct so we will find out the depreciation of next year means 2001-21-22 correct so we can easily calculate to 5,92,000 is the carrying amount after impairment loss the remaining useful life is 5 years correct to so 5 lakh 92,000 minus 60,000 divided by 5 that will be the next year depreciation similarly for machinery B it will be uh, what is the carrying amount already we calculated 2 lakh 43,000 so 2 lakh 43,000 and the unexpired life is 7 year correct because 3 years already expired or 10 minus 3 7 so you can see next year depreciation will be this this will be what carrying amount and inventory will be as usual correct we will assume that there is no changes in the value of inventory for next year because no information has been given so we will take the proper assumption for that correct goodwill it becomes zero this becomes the carrying amount of CSU as on 31st March 2022 correct now we will perform testing for what reversal of impairment loss reversal of impairment loss correct now whenever we do reversal of impairment loss the reversal of impairment loss means the carrying amount should be what should be lower of carrying amount assuming that impairment loss has not been incurred and their recoverable amount this should be the revised carrying amount correct now yes sir so already can i say we can find out what is the carrying amount as if no impairment loss has been charged for machinery a machinery b inventory and goodwill goodwill become zero because once the impairment loss has been charged to goodwill it cannot be reversed so goodwill will be always nil we'll find out carrying amount as if no impairment loss has been charged so we for machinery A you need to charge depreciation for 6 year as if no impairment loss has been charged for machinery B for 4 year as if no impairment loss has been charged inventory will be as usual this will be carrying amount as if, <coughs> as if no impairment loss has been charged recoverable amount for machinery A is given 5 lakh 50 thousand machinery B we can calculate it is 8 lakh minus 5 lakh 50 thousand that is 2 lakh 50 thousand and inventory will be this we will take lower of what 
carrying amount as well as recoverable amount you can see we have taken lower we have taken lower correct so this become what the carrying amount of CSU correct so what is the carrying amount carrying amount is what 858,885 and what is the carrying amount after reversal 931,000 means how much we can reverse we can reverse only to the extent of what 931,000 minus 858,885 this is the maximum reversal allowed 72,115 maximum reversal allowed correct understood have you understood this point any doubt so maximum reversal allowed is 72,115 I hope you have understood this is the entire solution can we go to the another question yes sir simple 3a it was lengthy but it was easy it was lengthy marks was also what it was for how many marks let's see it was a question of how many marks 8 marks correct yes sir so 3a you have understood let us come to 3b 3b it is a question of what in days 12 same to same question was given in rtp when i have discussed rtp of november 2022 i have said there was some error in the question but in this question they have rectified that error means that error is was not included in the exam question the so same to same question was given in rtp november 2022 let us discuss following is the summarized statement of pl of new age limited of india's Revenue from operation, other income, purchase of stock in trade, ch changes in inventory, employee benefit, expense, finance cost, other expense, total expense, PBT, current tax expense. Current tax expense means they have not calculated deferred tax. You can see current tax expense has been given. Profit after tax, uh, 538.35. Correct. Additional information. Consider that income tax rate applicable to new as limited in India is 30 percent. Okay. Means. In India, it is 30 percent. Other expense include a falling expense which are not deductible for income tax purpose. So these are not deductible for income tax purpose. Penalties, donation, impairment, good. This means permanently disallowed. It is not deductible for income tax purpose. Other expense also include expenditure on scientific research amounting to rupees 10 lakh in respect of which 150 percent weighted deduction is available under income tax law. Means under income tax under income tax 150 percent so 50 percent extra allowed so for that some difference will arise yes sir other income include dividend which is fully exempt from tax the so dividend income is exempt long term capital gain of 12 lakh which are taxable at a rate of 10 percent means applicable tax rate is 30 percent but for this long term capital gain it will be 10 percent so there will be difference of 20 percent yes sir Profit before tax 750 include agriculture income which is totally exempt. So this will also give rise to what some difference in tax. Profit of 75 lakh earned in USA means there is some foreign income which is taxed on 20%. So 30% is the applicable tax. The 10% difference will arise. During review of financial statement of New Age Limited as CFO multiplied profit before tax by income tax rate and arrive at 225 lakh as tax expense. Okay. However, the actual income tax expense appearing in the summarized statement appear is 211.65 lakh. Correct now. So actual income tax it is coming to 211.65 means we need to make one reconciliation. We need to give one reconciliation. You are required to help CFO of the company in reconciling the difference between the two tax expense account. Correct. Let us do the reconciliation. Correct. Can we do the reconciliation? Yes, sir. Correct. Come to the solution. Yes. So you can see accounting profit is given 750 into 30% applicable tax rate. This is as per the CFO 225. Now we need to reconcile 225 with the income tax given in SOPL that is 211.65. For that, what we need to do? There are some expense which is permanently disallowed. Correct? So because there are some expense which will which is permanently disallowed, so our tax expense will increase. Tax expense will increase correct so you can see the tax effect of the expense that are not deductible in determining taxable profit to so penalties impairment of goodwill donation you can see for with this amount our tax expense will increase so you can see we have multiply with 30 percent so 19.05 will be added yes sir now there are some expense which are deductible which are deductible under income tax means weighted 50% extra for research and develop research expenses 
so that is deductible so that will decrease our tax expense that will decrease our tax expense correct and there are some what exempted income also there are some exempted income so because of exam exemption our tax expense will decrease so you can see research and development it was 10 lakh into 50 percent 50 percent was extra allowed into 30 percent to 1.50 tax effect of income that are exempted in determining taxable income so this will also decrease our tax expense so you can dividend income and agriculture income you can see 30 percent 30 percent this will decrease our tax expense and there are some income which is taxable at some different rate correct so that will also decrease our means lower rate so that will also decrease our tax expense so you can see there is some foreign income foreign income was taxable at 20 percent but applicable tax is 30 percent 10 percent decrease to so 75 into 10 percent similarly there is some long-term capital gain it was taxable at 10 percent applicable tax at 30 percent 20 percent it will decrease so you can see 12 into 20 percent so that will also decrease correct yes sir now if you will do reconciliation it will come to double one point six five very easy question it was very easy understood yes sir and i hope if you have done number 2022 similar question was there so you would have attempted this question also in exam can we come to the next question yes sir we can come to the next question then there was one theory questions of six months they have given two choice one question was from conceptual framework one question was for what integrated reporting this i will not discuss because same to same question was given in IC study material they have given that question only so you can if you have attempted okay you have, you have done so i am not discussing this okay chalega. come to next question 4a correct yes sir 4a on 1st April 2021, this was a question from financial instrument instrument on financial guarantee. So financial guarantee and newly this uh, financial guarantee question was newly added in what uh, ICA study matter as well as in RTPMTB. That similar but I will say with one changes same to same question was asked. Correct. So fortunate bank has provided loan of 25 lakh to Mohan Limited for four year at 10 percent and the loan has been guaranteed by Surya Limited which is a holding company for Mohan Limited. Mohan Limited is subsidiary holding company Surya Limited. Interest payment are made at the end of each year and the principal is repaid at the end of loan term. If Surya Limited had not issued a guarantee, fortunate bank would have a charge Mohan interest rate at the rate of 14%. So 14% will be the market rate of interest? Yes, sir. On 31st March 2022, there is a 2% probability that Mohan Limited may default the loan in the next 12 months. If Mohan Limited default on the loan, Surya Limited does not expect to recover any amount from Mohan Limited. Similarly, they have given information of 31st March 2023, 31st March 2024. The probability of default is 4% and 5%. So they have given this probability of default. It means we need to find out what expected credit loss which may occur on default. Correct? Yes, sir. You are required to provide accounting treatment of financial guarantee as per India's 109 in the books of Surya Limited on initial recognition and subsequent period till 31st March 2024. Correct? Yes, that means for three years you need to do accounting. Correct. Can we refer the solution? Yes, sir. Come to the solution. You can see uh, this 3C, you can read the solution. Yes, sir. So, as per India's 109, financial guarantee will be recognized at fair value in the books of the in the books of the entity who has given guarantee means here in the books of what in the books of parent company in the books of holding company. So you can see financial guarantee will be initially recognized at fair value and fair value will be the will be the different means we need to first calculate difference in interest payment means if the guarantee would have not been given rate of interest was 40 percent and because the guarantee was given the rate of interest become what 10 percent so there was a difference of four person so you need to first find out that difference in interest and then find out the present value of that differential amount that become the fair value of guarantee correct you can see the cash flow based on interest rate of 14 percent you can see 25 lakh into 14 percent so 25 lakh into 14 percent how much it is 3 lakh 50 yeah so 3 lakh 50 3 lakh 50 3 lakh 50 3 lakh 50 and 25 lakh into 10 percent 2 lakh 50 2 lakh 50 2 lakh 50 2 lakh 50 correct yes sir so you can see it was 10 percent only no yeah 10 percent and 14 percent so we have done we have first calculated the interest rate interest as per 14 percent interest as per 
टेन परसेंट देन विल फाइंड आउट वॉट द डिफरेंस डिफरेंस विल कम वन लैक वन लैक वन लैक वन लैक करेक्ट फोर लैक करेक्ट डिस्काउंट फैक्टर यू कैन सी डिस्काउंट फैक्टर मीन्स विल ड्यू डिस्काउंटिंग एट मार्केट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट है मार्केट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इफ दे वुड हैव बी नो गारंटी देन मार्केट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट वुड बी फोर्टीन परसेंट डिस्काउंटिंग विल बी डन एट फोर्टीन परसेंट यू कैन सी आई हैव यूज द डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर इंटरेस्ट रेट अच्छा इन दिस क्वेश्चन वेदर इट वॉज गिवन फोर डेसीमल लेटस चेक नॉट गिवन इट दिस क्वेश्चन इट वॉज नॉट गिवन फोर डेसीमल और टू डेसीमल तो वी कैन टेक थ्री डेसीमल वी कैन टेक फोर डेसीमल तो यू कैन सी आई हैव टेकन थ्री डेसीमल इफ यू हैव टेकन टू डेसीमल दट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट इफ यू हैव टेकन फोर डेसीमल दट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट इफ यू हैव टेकन इंटायर डेसीमल दट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट बिकॉज क्वेश्चन हैज नॉट गिवन एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन तो आई हैव टेकन थ्री डेसीमल यू कैन डू वर्किंग एज पर फोर डेसीमल यू कैन डू वर्किंग एज पर टू डेसीमल आल्सो चलेगा यस सर तो इंटरेस्ट रेट डिफरेंस रेट डिस्काउंटेड एट फोर्टीन परसेंट इट इज कमिंग टू लैक नाइनटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड इट बिकम फेयर वैल्यू गारंटी तो वट विल the initial journal entry in the books of initial journal entry in the books of parent company means surya limited the journal entry will be investment in subsidiary to financial guarantee obligation financial guarantee liability correct at 291300 now as per indias at as per indias 1090 this financial guarantee will be subsequent recognized at a higher of the amount of loss allowance and amortized cost which ever is higher amount of loss allowance or amount in is recognized less cum cumulative amortization whichever is appropriate means where appropriate means similarly amortized cost we can say means first what we'll do we'll prepare one amortization cost table so you can see opening balance of liability is 2 lakh 91300 we'll calculate interest at a rate of 14% so er is 14% so 14% interest will calculate correct and benefit provided is 1 lakh that will be minus so you can see this interest will be calculated at 14% and minus 1 lakh this will be closing balance this become amortized cost of that financial liability so first cal first prepare what amortized cost table so this is the amortized cost of year 1 year 2 year 3 now we need to find out what expected credit loss means loss allowance because the amount subsequent recognition will be done of what this two whichever is higher the amount of loss allowance so we need to now calculate amount of loss allowance as per the information given the question so as on 31st march 2023 they have given they have given probability of default is how much for 12 month probability of default within 12 month they have given how much percent 4 percent so 25 lakh into 4 percent it is coming 1 lakh this, this become the amount of loss allowance so 1 lakh and what is the amortized cost Amortized cost is what two lakh thirty two thousand zero eighty two, whichever is higher. Therefore, subsequent recognition will be done at two lakh thirty two thousand zero eighty two. So initial recognition was done at this. Subsequent recognition at year end one will be done at this. So difference with the difference, the liability will decrease and that will be transferred to PL. Means our journal entry will be what finance guarantee liability account debit to PL with this difference amount. With this difference amount, I hope you have understood. You can see correct now. One minute. Sorry. Uh, first, it was how much amount of loss allowance? My mistake. The first year it was two percent. It was two percent. Let us check. Once minute. Once once first. It was two percent. Four percent was for the next year. My mistake. Correct. So two percent. You can see two percent. We have calculated twenty-five lakh. Two percent fifty thousand. So we'll compare fifty thousand with the amortized cost. One second amortized cost is higher. Therefore, the difference will be what will be recognized as what as a gain. So you can see finance guarantee to PL and the difference is what this minus this. Uh, sorry, not this. This higher will be taken. So higher is what two lakh thirty two thousand zero eighty two. So two lakh thirty thousand zero eighty two. Now will be compared with what two lakh ninety one thousand three hundred, and the difference will come fifty nine thousand two one eight. So that will be the financial guarantee will be decreased. Similarly, we'll come to what next year. Next year it is four percent probability. Four percent probability means twenty five lakh ka four percent one lakh. One lakh is the amount of loss allowance, and amortized cost is how much? Amortized cost is one lakh sixty four thousand five seventy three. One second amortized cost is higher. Therefore, subsequent recognition will be done at one lakh sixty four thousand five seventy three. So now the liability will be decreased as a difference between these two. The difference between these two will come how much? Check it. In calculator, the difference amount will come this only sixty five sixty seven thousand five zero nine, and liability will decrease by this amount, and it will be transferred to PL. Then 31st March 2004, one second, five percent probability has been given. Now five percent probability will be 25 lakh ka five percent. How much? 25 ka five percent. This is one lakh twenty-five thousand. One lakh twenty-five 
ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड करेक्ट वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड चलेगा तो वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड विल बी कंपेयर विथ वाट द एमोटाइज कॉस्ट एंड नाउ एमोटाइज कॉस्ट इज हाउ मच चेक करेंगे एमोटाइज कॉस्ट इज हाउ मच दिस मच तो नाउ वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इज हायर वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इज हायर तो वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड विल बी कंपेयर विद दिस एंड द डिफरेंस विल कमिंग हाउ मच वन लैख सिक्सटी माइनस वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड यू कैन सी थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड फाइव सेवेंटी थ्री तो योर लाइबिलिटी द लास्ट ईयर लास्ट मीन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर दैट ईयर द लाइबिलिटी विल डिक्रीज बाई थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड फाइव सेवेंटी थ्री आई हैव टेकन वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ऑनली चलेगा यस सर हैव यू अंडरस्टू दिस मच करेक्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज न्यू मीन्स दिस वॉज न्यूली एडेड क्वेश्चन बट इफ यू हैव डन बिफोर एग्जाम द सोल्यूशन वॉज वेरी इजी द सोल्यूशन वॉज वेरी इजी यस सर लेट एस कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पॉइंट नंबर बी इट इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ लेस इज सेम टू सेम क्वेश्चन हैज बीन गिवन इन आईसी स्टडी मेटेरियल ओनली द अमाउंट हैज बीन चेंज यस सर लेस ई इंटर इन टू ए टेन ईयर लीज फॉर सिक्स थाउजेंड दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन करेक्ट सिक्स थाउजेंड स्क्वायर मीटर ऑफ ऑफिस स्पेस द एनुअल लीज पेमेंट आर वन लैक पेबल एट द एंड ऑफ ईच ईयर द इंटरेस्ट रेट इम्प्लीस इन लीज कैन नॉट बी रेडी डिटरमाइन लेस ई इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ बोरिंग रेट इज एट परसेंट एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ सिक्स ईयर सब मॉडिफिकेशन हैपन एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ सिक्स ईयर मीन्स फाइव ईयर हैज बीन एक्सपायर लेस ई एंड लेस ई एग्री टू एमेंड द ऑरिजिनल लीज टू रिड्यूस द स्पेस टू ओनली थ्री थाउजेंड स्क्वायर मीटर ऑफ द ऑरिजिनल स्पेस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑफ ईयर सिक्स मीन्स फिफ्टी परसेंट डिक्रीज इन स्कोप तो इनिशियली इट वॉज सिक्स थाउजेंड स्क्वायर मीटर नॉट बिकम थ्री थाउजेंड स्क्वायर मीटर तो फिफ्टी परसेंट रिडक्शन हुआ द एनुअल फिक्स लीज पेमेंट फ्रॉम सिक्स ईयर हैज बीन ऑल्सो मॉडिफाइड तो इट इज नॉट रिड्यूस बाई फिफ्टी परसेंट तो एनुअल द न्यू एमेंडेड लीज पेमेंट इज वॉट नाउ सिक्स थाउजेंड फ्रॉम सिक्स ईयर लेस ही इंक्रीमेंट द बोरिंग डेट एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ सिक्स ईयर इज सिक्स परसेंट बिकॉज इट इज अ मॉडिफिकेशन ऑलवेज विल यूज मॉडिफाइड दिस मॉडिफाइड रेट फॉर वॉट डिस्काउंटिंग on modification date yes sir then there you are required to analyze the effect of said modification and give journal entry for the same in the books of less in the books of less so we need to do modification journal entry in the books of less give your calculation by adopting present value factor as now present value factor has been given to one second has been given at four decimal now you can't use three decimal two decimal as already i have said chalega now let us come to suggested solution the solution has been given first we'll find out in this first we'll find out what uh, the lease liability and ru asset on commencement date so that will be first we need to prepare one working note it is 1 lakh payable at the end of each year so 10 year you can see i have taken 8% this is given in the question only 10 year this is the present value factor so this become what uh, initial liability an initial value of ro asset so at the beginning of the contract means on commencement date will pass my general entry rou asset account debit to lease liability correct then we need to find out a carrying amount of rou asset and carrying amount of lease liability as on the date of mod modification means at the end of fifth year or at the beginning of sixth year you can say so you can see i have calculated lease liability in rou asset at the beginning of six year at the beginning of six year so we can easily calculate it lease liability amortized cost method and depreciation will charge as per lease term that is divided by 10 will do correct now that you can easily calculate it correct so we can easily calculate this amount and this amount now because there is a decrease in scope so first decrease in scope so first we need to find out gain or loss on partial termination gain or loss on partial termination correct so you can see 50% ru asset will decrease so this was the carrying amount to so 50% this amount will be this by this amount your ru asset will decrease similarly 50% lease liability will also reduce so you can see by this amount your liability will also reduce so consequently you can see less he reduce the carrying amount of ru asset by this amount and carrying amount lease liability by this amount and because of this reduction there will be gain on gain on partial termination and that gain will be the difference between this two amount and that gain will be 13058 and that will be transferred to pl that will be transferred to pl correct understood correct now because because the consideration has been changed from the sixth year so once again we'll calculate modified liability by using modified discount rate so you can 60000 from 6 7 8 9 10 correct one mistake student may do this is the discount factor for year 1 not for year 6 because we are calculating modified liability at the beginning of 6th year at the beginning of 6th year so you need to take 9434 means 
I from my point of view, if you have taken this, this will be wrong. You need to take nine four three for this. Correct now. So the, in this area, you may do mistake. You may do mistake. So I don't know what you have done, but I hope you are understanding my emotions. Whatever I am saying, correct. So this become the modified liability. Now this modified liability will be calculated by reduced liability, and the difference will be adjusted to RU asset. Means you can see the modified liability will be compared with this liability, and the difference will be adjusted to RU asset. So let's see recognize the difference between the remaining this liability. This amount and modify this liability this amount and which equal to this as an adjustment to ROU asset means the general entry because your liability will increase the so general entry will be ROU asset account debit to lease liability understood have you understood yes sir correct next question come to the next question 5a this is a question of India's 41 totally new question but similar point we have done in class let us read a herd of 15 four year old cow at 500,000 per cow we are held in M dairy firm as on 1st April 2021. The following transaction took place on 1st October 2021. One cow aged 4.5 was purchased for Rs 520,000 and one calf was born on 1st October 2021. So one new cow was purchased and a calf was born on 1st October 2021. No cow was sold or disposed of during the year during the year the per cow calf fair value less cost to sale was as follow so you can see they have given fair value less cost to the four year old cow 500 is already given in the question then four year old cow as on 31st march 2022 is given 516 so this is known as price change this is known as price change and four year old cow at the beginning now become five year old cow at the end the so five year old cow as on 31st March 2022 is 560. So this difference is known as physical change. This difference is known as physical change. So you can see what they have asked calculated change in favor less cost to sale, showing the portion attributable to physical change and portion attributable to price change. Understood what I am saying? Yes, sir. Similarly, you can see 4.5 year old cow which was purchased on 1st October was 520. Correct. Now 4.5 year old count 31st March is 540. So this is price change. Once again, this price change price change and 4.5 year means 4.5 year old cow which was purchased on 1st October now become 5 year old cow. So this become what physical change? 540 minus 560 become what physical change? Till a newborn calf, newborn calf on 1st October is 400 correct on 1st october the fair value is 400 yes sir and newborn car will now become 0.5 means half year so half year is what half year so newborn car first we will compare with newborn car on 31st march so this become what price change and this become what physical change i hope you are understanding correct yes sir yes sir calculate a, first you need to calculate point number one then point number two calculate a carrying cost as on 31st March 2002, and it will also prepare a livestock account. Livestock account, we need to prepare. Can we do follow the solution? Yes, sir, we can follow the solution. So you can see the portion attributable to price and physical change is as under the so four year old cow. You can see fair value is given 500 is the number I have taken, uh, sorry, 15 is the number, and 500 is the initial fair value 7500. Then increase due to price change, it is 516 minus 500 into 15. Correct. Increase due to physical change is 560 minus 516. That become physical change. So this will be 616. This become carrying amount. Means this become fair value less cost to sell as on year end. Means this become carrying amount. Correct. Yes, sir. The four point year purchase cow on first October. The fair value as on first October is 520. Then it become the uh, four year old cow. Means price change. We will compare 540 minus 520. Means I hope you are understanding. I have already informed you. Correct now. So you can see 520, the 4.5 year old cow is on 540. So 520 minus 540 is 20 rupees change. That is price change. And then due to physical change, it becomes 560. So once again, 20 rupees change. Yes, sir. So you can see same thing has been given. Same thing has been done for newly born calf. So this becomes total carrying amount. If you do this plus this. Plus this, this become total carrying amount. So carrying amount you can calculate this plus this plus this. Nine thousand four hundred is the carrying amount. Now we'll 
prepare our live stock account to opening balance is given 7500 then they purchase one cow to generate into be live stock account debit to bank 520 initial fair value correct yes sir then a calf was born to generate into be what live stock account debit to gain and that gain will be transferred to pl because it will major in fair value only the so fair value is 400 and this gain will be transferred to pl then subsequent measurement done and subsequent measurement gain will be also transferred to pl so entire gain on subsequent measurement 980 this gain is nothing but the sum total of price change and physical change sum total of price change and physical change that you can calculate and this become carried down this is live stock account understood have you understood this yes sir understood come to the next question yes sir then coming to point number b correct so we are doing 5b na this is 5b this is a question of eps once again same to same question has been given in study material only the amount has been changed nothing more than that jackson limited is engaged in manufacturing and trading activity it is in the process of preparation of consolidated finances statement of the group for the year ended 31st march 2022 during the year 2021-22 the company made a profit after tax of 2 crore 10 lakh which is 10 lakh is attributable to nci means for calculation eps you will take 2 crore 10 lakh or 2 crore 10 lakh minus 10 lakh so of course it will be 2 crore 10 lakh minus 10 lakh so if you have taken 2 crore 10 lakh you have done mistake so the for eps will take only profit or loss which is attributable to parent company which is attributable to parent company yes sir yes sir the long term finance company comprise of 10 crore equity shares of rupees 1 each at the beginning of the year and company has issued 2 crore 50 lakh shares on 1st october so for this weight will be given weight will be for 6 month 6 month weight will be given 40 lakh irredeemable preference shares of rupees 10 is this shares were in issue for the whole year the payment of dividend on the preference shares were discretionary so it is equity this is not compound financial instrument so of course for this dividend we deducted to calculate what profit or loss attributable to equity shareholders correct the 9 crore of 6% convertible debenture issued on 1st april 2020 first april 2020 and we are doing question for which year 31st march 2022 means Uh, means we need to find out a carrying amount of this as on 31st march 2022 means after 2 year correct yes sir repayable as on this date at par interest is payable annually as an alternative to repayment par the holder of maturity can elect to exchange their convertible debenture for 5 crore ordinary shares in the company so this is optionally convertible debentures at the option of holder so this is a compound finance instrument to be need to split into what liability and equity component as per india study 2 correct on 1st april 2021 the prevailing market rate of interest is 8% using an annual discount rate of 8% once again discounting factor has been given 0.68 and annuity factor has been given 3.99 in the year 31st march 2022 jackson will declare dividend of 0.10 per share So 40 lakh is the irredeemable per preference shares. They have given the dividend. This dividend deducted to calculate profit attributable to equity share holder. So first, in this we need to calculate the finance cost, finance cost and the closing balance of financial liability. Okay, we can do this as per what India's 32 and India's 109. Then also calculate basic and diluted earning per share. Can we do? Yes, sir. We can do it. Yes, sir. the solution is very easy you can see first we'll do splitting splitting we know that how to do splitting so splitting we can do that principal amount present value interest amount present value the contractual rate of interest 6% percent, 9 crore 6% correct now we'll do discounting and the annuity factor is also given this to become the liability financial liability fair value of financial liability uh, 9 crore minus this this will become equity equity component correct we are only because it is a question of we need to find out financial liability and finance cost so we are supposed to only consider this amount yes sir then finance cost because we need to calculate as on 31st march 2022 so we will prepare one amortization table you are expert in this so you can see we have calculated finance cost at a rate of 8% and then the contractual cash flow is at a rate of 6% this become closing balance so the finance cost of 
second year will be this and the closing balance will be this yes sir then we'll come to basic eps basic eps you can see two crore i have taken then we deducted preference dividend to 40 lakh into 0 0.10 preference dividend this become what uh, profit attributable to equity shareholders then we'll calculate weighted average number of equity shares so 10 crore they have given at the beginning then 2.5 crore issued at the mid of the year so we have taken 6 by 12 to so this become what weighted average number of shares eps can be calculated basic eps can be calculated now coming to calculation of diluted eps so for diluted eps we need to find out profit attributable after conversion of potential equity shares so for the for it for the effect of potential equity share so they we have one convertible debenture so interest will be added back so you can see 1 crore 96 like interest of the second year has been added back net of tax net of tax so 30 percent is the tax rate given the question so we'll do 70 percent 70 percent will be added so this will be earning for diluted earning per share and then we'll calculate weighted average number of shares the so weighted average number of shares convertible debenture will be converted into five color equity shares and that was outstanding from the beginning the so weight will be 12 by 12 so you can see this become weighted up weighted average number of shares the diluted eps will be this by this this will be 0 0.1495 understood correct easy simple let us come to the next question okay sir done yes sir come to point number c this is a question of share based payment it is a question of what share uh, share based payment with cash alternative chalega chalo read it same to same question one second in ICS study material on 1st April 2019, Sun Limited issued share based option to one of its key managerial personnel, which can be exercised either in cash or equity. It has the following features. You can see option 1 number of cash settled shares 70,000, service condition 3 year, option 2 number of equity settled share of face value is 100 each, 80,000. Correct? So, equity alternative 80,000 shares, cash alternative 70,000 shares. Condition, service condition, restriction to sale means if you if you uh, if you uh, opt for equity settlement there is some restriction to sell means the fair value option for cash alternative and for equity alternative will be different for equity alternative it will be with restriction for cash alternative it will be without restriction so you can see share alternative fair value with restriction is 125 and fair value on grant date is 136 and you can see they have given this this is for what reassessment of cash alternative understood yes sir you are required to pass journal entry it is given if the key manager employee exercise cash option at the end of 31st march and also if exercise equity option means if they avail equity option if they have a cash option what will be journal entry that we need to give Chalega? yes sir so solution is very easy check karenge. so fair value of equity component first we'll find out that is 80,000 into 125 that is coming 1 crore then we will find out fair value of cash alternative on grant date that is 70,000 into 136. So this become fair value of what? La fair value of liability component means it has two parts liability component equity component. So equity component will be this minus this 480,000 correct. So equity component because there is no uh, there is no decrease in the number of employee. So therefore it will be allocated to each year. On SLM basis, the so 4 lakh thousand divided by 3 will do, but for liability component, we'll do reassessment at the end of each year because liability will be reassessed as per fair value at the end of each year. Correct? Yes, sir. So you can see first year journal entry employee benefit expense to SBP reserve to SBP liability. SBP reserve will be 4 lakh thousand divided by 3. Liability component will be what? You can see 70,000 into what? 70,000 into 141 into 1 by 3 understood to 70,000 into 141 into 1 by 3 this is the liability component and this will be total expense second year once again the channel entry remains same EB expense to SBP reserve to SBP liability SBP reserve will be same 1 lakh 3,000 but liability will change liability will be what 70,000 into what 143 into 2 by 3 so 70,000 into 143 into 2 by 3 minus how much already recognized in the first year already recognized in the first year 32 lakh 90,000 this is the liability and the total of this will be expense third year also same thing we'll do we'll do reassessment of SBP liability correct I hope you are able to understand then settlement accounting so if cash already chosen the entry is what SBP liability account debit to bank so SBP liability, the total SBP liability account debit to bank, SBP liability will be 70,000 into 146 only, that will be paid, 
and SBP reserve will be transferred to what retain earning because now SBP reserve is no more required it will be transfer retain earning the SBP reserve to retain earning correct if equity option is opted equity alternative is opted then liability will be converted into equity shares to SBP liability account pay to equity share capital to 80,000 shares of rupees 100 is nominal value and difference will be transferred to premium security is premium correct yes sir correct and SBP reserve will be transferred retain earning to SBP reserve has been transferred to retain earning understood done simple so 5 also done 5.5 is also done now let us come to the last part of the question 6 6 a b c d there are 4 questions let us read one by one so 6 a is a question of in day as 8 what they have given orange limited is going to prepare his annual financial statement for the year ended 31st march 2022 in the process it discovered that provision for constructive obligation for payment of bonus to selected employee in corporate office which was required to be recognized in annual financial statement of 31st march 2020 were not recognized due to oversight of facts so it is an error whenever there is an error we need to do retrospective restatement as per india said the bonus was paid during the financial year ended 31st March 2021 and was recognized as an expense in the annual financial statement of the said year. Means it was actually an expense and liability of this year. Means 1920. But recognized as an expense in the next year means 2021. And right now we are in which year? 2122. Correct? Once again, we know that whenever there is an error correction the third balance required as per india's one correct so we need to do we need to do a correction means adjustment in the in the liability and retain earning at the beginning of previous year and we need to prepare third balance sheet also and we need to also restate the comparative figure we need to restate the comparative figure so one thing is clear that we need to restate the liability and retain earning at the beginning of previous year means as on 1-4-2020 and we need to do a restatement in the comparative statement of previous year correct I hope you have understood this is the solution I think you have understood you can read the solution for this next point number B ENG limited has developed a model to measure the expected credit loss based on lifetime expected credit loss model according to company has estimated following provisioning metrics so you can see default rate has been given the question means normally we calculate default rate but in this question default rate is given for any any receivable which is current means which is not overdue is uh, default rate is 0.3% which is 1 to 30 days past due means aging has been given 1.6 percent this information has been given default rate information has been given the company has a portfolio of trade receivable 6 crore as on 31st March 2022 and operates in only a geographical region the customer base of the company consists of large number of small client and trade receivable of categorized by common risk characteristic that represent a customer ability to pay all amount due as per the contractual term correct the trade receivable the trade receiver do not have significant financing component the whenever trade receivable do not have significant financing component it means it can be measured it can be measured as lifetime ECL correct yes sir the above provision matrix is based on historical observed default rate over the expected life of trade receivable and is adjusted for forward looking estimate the company has asked you to suggest whether the above system of making the provision for the expected credit loss is in accordance with applicable India's. Yes, it is applicable. Means it is as per India's 109. If yes, then determine the expected credit loss for the trade receivable outstanding as on 31st March 2022 on the following basis. You can see the total trade receivable 6 crore and out of that percent is given 50%, 25%, 13%. So 6 crore can be allocated in this percentage and then we will multiply with the default rate that become what expected credit loss. Super easy question. Means if you read the solution, if you read the solution, you can read it, the previous question. If you read the solution, you can see this has been 
allocated as per the percentage given then we multiply with the default rate which is given the question so after multiplying the default rate this is the total expected credit loss super easy question i think only calculation was required nothing more than that chalega yes sir come to the next question point number c pharmaceutical limited has a five operating segment namely k l m n o the profit and loss of respective segment for the year ended 31st march 2002 as follow so you can see they have given profit or loss k has profit l has profit m has loss n has loss o has profit based on the quantity threshold you are required to determine that which of the above segment will be considered as reportable segment so as per the quantity threshold there are three criteria one is based on segment revenue one is based on segment result one is based on segment asset so in this question only we need to apply the criteria based on segment result so what is given ki any segment which has 10% or more of of what of of total of profit or total of loss whichever is greater in absolute term means first we need to find out total of profit total of profit then we find out total of loss whichever is higher that will become benchmark correct means if we come to solution let us come so as per indias 108 correct the absolute amount of reportable profit or loss is 10% or more of the greater in absolute amount that is combined profit combined profit and combined loss in absolute terms correct so first you can see we have cal calculated what combined profit then we calculate combined loss which ever is higher to so 16560 is higher so that become the benchmark on that basis means we will calculate percentage according to this and you can see any segment which is 10% or more of this so this will become reportable segment only k is not a reportable segment so lmno are reportable segment very simple i hope this to everyone have done correct correct last question come to the last question of this entire fr paper correct this is also very question question related to indias 28 correct on 1st february 2021 hali limited acquired 40% interest in another entity smart limited hani limited determined that it is able to exercise significant influence of smart limited hani limited has paid total consideration 95 lakh to fair the purchase consideration 95 lakh for acquiring the interest in smart limited on the date of acquisition the book value of net asset is 1 crore 80 lakh and the fair value is 2 crore 20 lakh so 2 crore 20 lakh into 40% how much it is 8.8 8.8 sorry 88 88 lakhs so 95 minus 88 lakh so 7 lakh become goodwill so as per india's 28 we should identify goodwill and disclose in the financial statement but will not recognize goodwill chalega yes sir then hani limited has determined the difference between the carrying amount and fair value is 40 lakh that pertain to an item of pp which has a remaining useful life so we need to also think about additional depreciation on this what 40 lakh yes sir During the year 2021-22, a Smart Limited made a profit of 16 lakh. Smart Limited paid a dividend of 24 lakh. Smart Limited also had a long-term investment in equity securities. Under India, the investment is classified as FBTOSI in accordance with India S 109 and recognizes the increase in the value by 4 lakh. So that is what this is. We need to find calculate a share in OCI also. Correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ignore deferred tax. Thank you very much. You are required to assign the closing balance of Honey Limited investment in Smart Limited as on 31st March 2022 as per relevant India's using equity method. Let us very simple. Correct. So you can see. First, we'll find out goodwill. Already, I have said goodwill is seven lakh. This you can calculate. Yes, sir. Then we'll find out what the closing balance. So 95 lakh is the cost price of investment, including seven lakh goodwill. Then we'll add sharing profit, sharing profit, sixteen lakh of forty percent. But from this, we'll deduct fair value depreciation. So depreciation is forty lakh ka because forty lakh divided by ten four lakh. So forty ka forty lakh ka forty percent one lakh sixty thousand. So this will be deducted. Ah, uh, sorry, this will be added. Then we'll also add sharing OCI. OCI gain was how much four lakh. So forty percent ka four lakh that will be also added, and the dividend received will be deducted. So dividend. Is twenty four lakh of forty percent that has been received that will be also deducted and this will become what ninety one lakh eighty thousand will be the 
वैल्यू ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट एज पर इक्विटी मेटेड एज पर इंडिया ट्वेंटी एट चलेगा इंक्लूडिंग गुडविल ऑफ सेवन गुडविल ऑफ सेवन लैख अंडरस्टूड दिस वॉज द इंटायर डिस्कशन ऑफ एफ आर पेपर आई होप यू हैव डन करेक्टली ऑल्सो स्मॉल स्मॉल मिस्टेक इफ यू हैव डन यू कैन एनालाइज हाउ मच मार्क्स यू कैन स्कोर वाई हैव डन डिस्कस वाई हैव डन इंटायर डिस्कशन मीन्स इफ यू आर फीलिंग दैट दिस मिस्टेक यू हैव डन तो बी कंजर्वेटिव Calculate your marks on conservative basis, and if you are feeling that you are getting less than fifty, correct, and aggregate also you are not able to make it. I will say please don't waste this two month. Start preparing, correct. Ha! If you have written group one, then you, and you are more than if you have written exceptionally well, you can start preparing for group two. Are you able to understand? But try to make analysis. after this discussion understood have you understood i will i feel that this suggested answer will help you in estimating your marks correct analyze it try to estimate your marks and then use this two month this two month after exam before result effectively correct understood i will i will just want that you share this video to your friends also correct if you are watching for the first time you can subscribe my channel because i'll be coming out with new videos also thank you very much for the day bye bye take care and all the best for your result bye bye